Thursday was gym day, and the entire experience was fraught, <laughs> perilous, because water pressure in 1970s public schools was so weak, you had to make love to the drinking fountain. <laughs> But if you got that close, it tempted the cretin behind you <laughs> to smash your skull into the iron spout, which was considered a prank in 1978. <laughs> now it's rightfully classified as felony assault. <laughs> but back then it was just boys will be boys. <laughs> the teacher wouldn't even interrupt her countdown, which was necessary because budget cuts in the 70s caused classroom sizes to swell. <laughs> Classrooms were enormous, so the teacher would have to limit your quench <laughs> with this. One Mississippi, two Mississippi, three Mississippi, next. <laughs> and I, I would protest. I would become outraged and I would say something. I was very precocious when I was a little kid. I, I think you would have loved me. <laughs> I remember I would, I would finish my sip under so much pressure, this, but also it's like, I need to get my water for the week <laughs> in three Mississippi or less. It was daunting. And I would finish my sip, I would collect my teeth, And I would say, Mrs. McNally. It's her real last name. <laughs> oh, I will protect her no longer. <laughs> Mrs. McNally, it is not Mississippi. It's Mississippi. You're costing me an entire syllable of hydration <laughs> with your pigeon English. <laughs> but you wanna know something, Mrs. M? How appropriate. How apt <laughs> that you use Mississippi to carry out your unjust drinking fountain policy. <laughs> that, now that's precocious, to have that firmer grasp of Jim Crow legal doctrine at seven. 